Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Tief. And um, tonight I am going to do a quick revisit. Now most of you um, that have been following my channel, thank you very much. Um, I have um, reached 60 subscribers, well 62 subscribers this morning. So uh, a very small new channel and I'm quite excited um, to have uh, reached 62 in such a short time. So thank you very much. And just a reminder for you guys, is, um, it costs you nothing. Um, subscribe to my channel, um, click the like uh, button or the dislike button. Um, make a comment. Um, I love to engage with you um, with regards to whiskey and also please um, remember the bell so that you can get um, my new videos as soon as I release them. But anyway, um, revisiting. Um, I've been, I've, this was um, actually my first whiskey that I've ever reviewed or was part of, a, of the first video that I released. And um, and I, I had a look this morning and I realized that um, maybe it's a good to go revisit it and to see uh, over the period of time how my palette has changed. Do I um, like the, the oaky ones uh, now a little bit better? Um, so this is my revisit and the whiskey that I'm talking about, the Macallan, this is the double gold or the gold uh, double uh, cask um, gold edition it is um, something that I picked up um, in 2018 already and um, this was one of my uh, first uh, purchases here in Belgium and um, I was a little bit shocked at the price then but, but yeah, here we go um, it is a from the Macallan Distillery. It is uh, as from the Speyside region in Scotland. It is a single malt whisky. It has no age statement. It is natural color. Um, and of course, it's uh, bottled at 40% ABV. So I presume that there will be some gel filtration. It is um, matured in American uh, ex bourbon cask as well as in European Oloroso Sherry casks, but um, and the uh, Oloroso Sherry seasoned cask, I might add. So, um, how long they mature it in the sherry cask? Um, it's I cannot find any information, and if I do find something after the video, then I will also put it uh, a little note uh, in the video as well. So um, this was actually um, the release for the first time as the Macallan Gold, and that was in 2012. And um, that was part of the Macallan Gold um, 1824 series. And um, they actually renamed it now to the Macallan Gold Double Cast in 2018. <clears throat> so. So um, with a little bit of digging, I did find a little bit on the age of the whiskey in this bottle. So this can range between um, 9 and up to 15 year old. I'm not sure how uh, um, good that information is because I, I don't find this information on their own website. But um, that is the information that I, that I have. And... Um, yeah, 45 to 50 euros um, for a bottle here in Belgium. Um, if you can still um, find somebody that to stock them. Um, as you can see, it was um, well, not too successful <laughs> um, since 2018. And I still have quite, quite a lot left. And um, I think the biggest reason that there is still something left is because of the high oakiness um, in the bottle for me. 
and um, so it was not my go-to dram uh, uh, that, that I would uh, have something in the evening. But anyway, I think it is a good idea just to see how my palette have changed during the course of um, this year. So, um, if I look at the color, and this is, of course, it is natural color, and um, it is a very nice golden color. So I, I do like the color of that. And then when I backed, uh, went back to my notes on this one as well, the one of the things that I did like about it was the nice um, aromas coming on the nose. So I have a change. We're going to have to have a look. So on the nose. So a little bit, I, I get a, a little bit of the, the, the malt funky notes. Um, and by the funky note for me, anyway, it's like um, when you dry your uh, glass with a dishcloth and um, that uh, a little bit of that funny smell that you get from the dish, dishcloth, that's what I also get it. And I know that they call it the whiskey funk. No, that's the only way I can describe that one. <coughs> so, um, quite a lot of a, a, a woody notes coming out. Like um, uh, maybe uh, when you go into a wood, uh, wood shop where they have all this um, different types of wood, I get that maybe a little bit of a wood polish in the, in the, in the background as well. So it is quite sweet on the nose. So I do get a, a, a raisins, um, and I suspect that comes from the sherry cask, but it is not overly sweet. A little bit of a, um, a apple cider note as well, and I do like a, a apple cider note uh, um, in any whiskey. So for me, that is quite nice. Something like a, a, the Hunter's Dry or um, the Bowman's. Uh, type of cider but not as sweet as that so I also get a hint of uh, a marmalade on it and a little bit of a citrus note uh, more like um, homemade lemonade um, which, that I also pick up so um, quite quite interesting on, on the nose But I also, um, from the vanilla, uh, uh, notes that I get, and I suspect that comes from the ex uh, bourbon cask. Um, it's not very strong, and it, and it might be just uh, my, my brain um, trying to find that um, relationship between the ex bourbon cask, which normally gives all this vanilla notes. And um, um, so maybe there's a little bit trickery going on. But I do get a, a faint one of vanilla, but not as strong. If you take a, a vanilla pod and you break it open, it's not that strong. So I do also get a, um, a, a light sherry note. It is from Olorosa sherry, so I didn't expect much sweetness, sweetness in it. But I do get that Olorosa um, sherry note, uh, but it's very faint. A little bit of a, a chocolate uh, as well. Um, not really a dark chocolate, uh, more like a 60% uh, cocoa type of chocolate. And oak, the oakiness, maybe also that where the wood note comes in. But I do get the oakiness and um, uh, it, it does scares me a little bit, but um, it's still going to be too oaky. So, um, Enough talking, let's start drinking. Cheers. So <clears throat> the question that I'm trying to, to, to answer today is after a, a year, um, how much did my palate change? And um, well, the first thing that I get is a lovely sweetness. It's a um, apple juice sweetness for me it is, and it's um, the vanilla apple and vanilla maybe like a apple pie sweetness coming through 
And now <clears throat> I get a little bit of the oak coming in. I didn't get any of the, the citrus notes. Um, I do get it a little bit on a, on a nose still, but um, I don't get it um, in the taste. Hmm. On a second sip, um, I do get a little bit more oak, but um, it it's a lot less toned down for me uh, on the oakiness. I remember clearly when I opened this bottle the first time, it was the oak was just too much for me. Now, either there's a, a, a huge change in my taste profiles. Um, I have been going away, um, in, going into a complete new direction with regards to my whiskey uh, tasting profiles. I, I'm now more into the uh, ex-bourbon um, type of profiles than <clears throat> when I used to love the sherry profiles. But this one has definitely improved. Of course, the second one, the fact that it is um, uh, not much left in the bottle and there could be some type of oxidization going on. And um, that might have changed the profile as well. But for me, the taste, so much better. I get a little bit of a, a, the apples, a little bit of a cinnamon, cinnamon in it. And... Um, a little bit of a burnt caramel or, or toffee, uh, toffee that's gone too far, um, that uh, type of uh, note here. Um, so, did my palate change? Absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. It's, it's quite enjoyable. I think it is time for me to go back uh, and get maybe one or two of the no age statement McAllen's do some reviews on them, but um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I do suspect as well that um, I'm getting used to the oak oakiness. Um, I have been also drinking quite a lot of uh, uh, coffee lately without sugar. So I think um, that also makes a difference. And I'm, com well, I'm completely off sugar for the last two and a half months. I haven't had anything sweet. So I think that maybe that also resets the palate that I, um, I don't chase the sweet um, whiskey anymore. So um, quite enjoyable. So anyway, um, score wise, I think um, I'm going to give this one a 82 out of 100. Um, and which I think it's quite an improvement from my previous score on this one. I didn't go look to see what it is, but I can tell you um, it is an enjoyable one. So thank you very much for watching. Um, remember to like and subscribe and I see you next time. Cheers.